Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Christina Nietzsche. Today I'm super excited because I'm going to be going over one of my absolute favorite subjects, coffee. I had actually reviewed this Technivore Mocha Master three years ago. And one thing that I noticed is that there doesn't seem to be very many reviews on products after use. It's like simply like when you get them, you know, the unboxing and all that stuff. Um, but I'm gonna provide a link above so this way you can click on my original unboxing for the um, Technivore Mocha Master. Now again, that was three years ago, so I figured that it'd be appropriate to kind of update you guys now and let you know, do I still love this machine? Is it still performing okay? But I also wanted to show you guys how I actually clean it and what Technivorm recommends as far as in like products to clean and descale your machine. Now, a little background, I'm here in Texas, so the water is, um, is very, very hard. And so there's a lot of like calcification going on and things like that. I can't even use regular tap water in my steam mop because it literally like destroyed one. So um, this machine, absolutely love it. Um, I can tell you that it has definitely performed very, very well. It was very easy to clean. Um, and I have been using this for uh, like every single day, sometimes twice a day. So I have like used and abused <laughs> this machine. Um, but that doesn't mean that you can't like neglect it or not take care of it. So basically after you're done with these filters, then Technivorm recommends before you get another box and start using them is that you descale the machine. So what I've been using to descale the machine is this liquid right here. This is full circle. This is the brand that was listed in the Technivorm manual. So this is the one I got. I believe there's a couple that you can use and you do wanna be careful and make sure that it's for this type of machine. All right, so let's talk about like overall and how it looks. Now I just kinda of wanna take this apart so I can show you. Yes, these pieces are plastic right here. Um, did they hold up? Absolutely, I've had no problem. I didn't have any cracking or anything like that. Um, the top is fine. This right here, perfectly fine. No cracks, no bending, um, no distorted uh, bending you know, from heat or anything like that. Um, this is absolutely perfect. Now, I do wanna note that I do hand wash these items. So I don't put any of this in the dishwasher. And I really don't recommend that because sometimes what can happen is, uh, let's say for instance, one of the tops tends to like fall with and go to the bottom shelf this could possibly ruin the um, plastic. So I think we've all seen that happen before. If you throw plastic in a dishwasher, it ends up like totally melting it and making it look really crazy. All right, let's talk about this. Um, so the carafe, I've had no problems with. Now this is, I mean, I really wouldn't foresee any problems with a metal carafe. It's only the glass that I might be a little bit more you know, wary of getting just because of the fact that glass can break. And that was the whole reason why I never bought the glass carafe for this um, machine. So yeah, again, this is a plastic piece. This works fine, um, no problem there. I still have all the pieces. Uh, this right here, the little piece, little tray at the bottom. Um, this absolutely is perfect. There's nothing, no bending or anything like that in it. Um, and then, 
This piece right here, it held up very nicely. There's nothing wrong with it. It's, I mean, it's metal, so, but even still, even the little plastic pieces right here, or the rubber pieces, I should say, on each side are fine. Um, the whole container, everything, this is plastic. This held up very nicely. I didn't have any weird um, uh, mold or anything collecting in this little area right here, in this um, section. So I was, and that was one of the things that was uh, kind of like concerning to me. I was like, okay, well, with condensation, am I gonna see mold? Absolutely nothing. So um, this seriously is one amazing piece of equipment. You do not have to worry about it breaking down or, you know, I mean, again, you wanna make sure that you are properly cleaning the machine. So I guess the question here is, would I recommend this Mocha Master to everybody out there still? And absolutely I would. Uh, 1,000 times I, I definitely would. I have, like I said, I've had no problems with it. It held up very nicely. This is three years. I haven't had any brewing problems. Uh, it, it literally performs like I just got it. Coffee tastes still amazing, of course, because we know that the Technivore Mocha Master brews like some of the best quality of coffee out there. It has that gold cup standard in Europe, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, I mean, I can't really say anything negative about it. I haven't had any problems. Uh, and that's pretty crazy because I've had some, over the years, I've definitely gone through some, you know, coffee machines and I can't say something hasn't gone wrong with each one with the exception of this right here. So absolutely, I would recommend it. It's, yes, it is a little pricey, but it is definitely worth it. It is worth basically spending that money on this versus going through and having other problems with other coffee makers. All right, now let's go over the details on descaling. How do you clean the equipment? Is it easy? And so on. So basically with this full circle, all you need to do is pour this in a container of water. You're gonna basically fill up about 32 ounces of water and then let this dissolve. So after the descaling liquid is mixed in with the water, you carefully pour the water mix into the container and you are going to brew this once. After that, Technivorm actually recommends that you brew another two cycles just to make sure that you get all of that cleaning solution out of the whole machine. So if you guys have any questions about the Technivorm Mocha Master, just let me know in the comments below. And I know that like some of you have actually bought this piece of equipment after I did my last video. So I would absolutely love to hear your story on how you love the Mocha Master in the comments as well. And please don't forget to subscribe because I will possibly be reviewing yet another Technivorm Mocha Master product.